Hey, what's up guys? This is Joe from Fandroid. Today we're taking a look at Google Assistant, how to set it up for the first time, and how to use it. So Assistant debuts on the Pixel phones, but eventually it'll be on all Nougat devices. And so we're gonna set it up for the very first time. And to do that, you're gonna long press on the home button. And now it's gonna ask you to recognize your voice right away. And this is gonna be so that when you say, okay, Google, it recognizes you. So we're gonna get started with that. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. So then it's going to ask you to turn on trusted voice. And what that does is allow you to say the command with the phone locked and it will launch assistant. So just for this, we're going to turn it off, but you can turn it on if you want. So now we're going to hit done. Hi, I'm your Google assistant. I can help you find what you need and get things done. If you need help, just ask, what can you do? So how can I help? So you can see right off the bat, it gives a little introduction. And if you want to know more, as she said, we can say, what can you do? What can you do? Here are some things to try. You can say things like set an alarm or wake me up at 9 a.m. To see more, just swipe the options on your screen. So we have a bunch of categories here of different things it can do. Uh, weather, fun, answers, games. So if we tap one of these. Ask me what you'd always ask Google. You can use text images or your voice. So it gives a few examples of that. And if we tap any one of these, it will give some examples of that as well. I can tell you the daily forecast. Or if you need an umbrella. And if you ever want to see another list, you can tap the menu button. And there's what can you do up there and it'll give you another list. So now that we've done that, we have it set up and it's working. And so to use Google Assistant, you can say, okay, Google. And it's gonna launch right into it. And you can also do what we did to start. You can just hold long press the home button. And whenever you do that, it's gonna start listening right away so you can just start talking. So that's the main way you're gonna interact with Assistant is with the voice commands. But there's another thing you can do called screen search. So let's say we open up an app and we've got something on the screen. I can long press the home button, but now instead of talking, I'm going to swipe up and it's going to scan the screen for any information and give me um, some results. So it scanned the screen and it saw Chromebook Pixel. Um, so here's some news about Pixels. Uh, Google App Beta, Early Bird, which is the name of the app I was using. I could jump right to the Play Store and there's that. Um, and there's all these other things, so like Pixel XL, I could jump to YouTube videos about the Pixel XL. Uh, Galaxy Note 7, once again, hey, let's see some news about this exploding phone. So now we just did a Google search for Galaxy Note 7 news. And so that's a really neat way to see something on the screen. Maybe a friend mentions a restaurant or a movie, you long press, swipe up, and then you can get some shortcuts and information about that. So those are the two main functions of Google Assistant, uh, doing voice commands and doing screen search. It's really easy to set up and it's really powerful. There's a lot of artificial intelligence baked in and so it can act a little bit more human-like. Um, check out our other videos on Assistant to see what commands you can do, Easter eggs and stuff like that. So that's it for this one. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time.